Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Under the ever escalating chip rules in the United States, Chinese semiconductors have to speed up their autonomy. Against the background of accelerating the layout of the domestic system, high quality companies such as Huawei and SMIC have emerged. Under their leadership, they have still achieved the prototype of industrial independence. Solving the problem of high end chip supply. The return of Huawei Kirin 9000S has put the Biden team under unprecedented pressure. With the successive sales of Mate 60 and Pura 70, Apple has completely lost control of the high end mobile phone market. Sales have been declining since the fourth quarter of last year. It also means that Huawei does not need Qualcomm chips at all and can completely reject the fake good intentions of only shipping 4G chips. In this context, the United States is also very sensible, and it has interrupted the shipment licenses of Qualcomm and Intel. Retained the last bit of dignity. I never thought that Huawei had just been reborn, and things that made American semiconductors uncomfortable were coming again. According to SMIC's first quarter financial report, total revenue reached 1.75 billion US dollars, 12.635 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of more than 19.7%, and a quarter-on-quarter -quarter increase of more than 19.7%. It also achieved a growth of 4.3%. What excites China is that in terms of pure wafer foundry, SMIC ranks second in the world after TSMC, catching up with UMC and global foundries. This shows that the original path was on the right track. When expanding high-end production capacity processes, SMIC chose to focus on mature processes. Regarding this, ASML, has the most say and is the only manufacturer in the world that can manufacture EUV lithography machines. The shipment volume of the equipment directly determines the progress of major chip manufacturers in laying out new production capacity. Now even TSMC photolithography machines are no longer purchased on a large scale, which already illustrates the problem. Wei Zhijia, the current head of TSMC also stated that there is currently a greater demand for mature process chips, and there is already a surplus of advanced production capacity. New energy vehicles have brought huge opportunities to mid to low end chips, and their influence even exceeds that of smartphones. With the advantage of its new energy industry, China has overtaken Japan in its share of automobile exports and has become the world's largest automobile exporter. SMIC has a very mature 40 nanometers mass production process and has already matched TSMC in terms of yield rate. The current revenue mainly comes from domestic manufacturers and more than 80% of orders come from domestic companies. After realizing this situation, Wei Zhijia once led the main leaders of TSMC to visit the mainland in an attempt to resume corresponding cooperation. China is naturally very willing to accept TSMC, but since they accepted 11.6 billion US dollars in subsidies from the United States, they promised to after the United States built its third 2 nanometers factory the outcome of all this was already doomed. According to public data, in order to expand the production capacity of mature processes, SMIC has invested 150 billion yuan. Now it has become the largest manufacturer of mature processes. While seizing opportunities, it has gained support from domestic manufacturers. This is also the reason for SMIC. An important factor in international's ability to counterattack 
and become the world's second largest pure play foundry. The potential of SMIC does not stop there. While seizing mature processes, it is also accelerating the research and development of advanced technologies. In addition to N plus 1 and N plus 2 processes, it has currently focused on the 7 nanometers mass production process. In terms of breakthroughs, we are moving towards low power consumption and high performance. It is worth mentioning that after TSMC's investment in building factories in the United States was frustrated, TSMC President Wei Zhijia personally led a team to visit mainland companies in an attempt to grab orders from SMIC, but the results were not satisfactory. After all, SMIC has invested $150 billion in mature technology fields, surpassing TSMC in terms of production capacity and yield rate. In addition, another reason why Chinese companies reject TSMC is that they are worried about following in the footsteps of Huawei and suffering when the United States suppressed it. It was stabbed in the back and fell into the embarrassing situation of no core available. Another reason why SMIC has replaced TSMC as the world's largest wafer foundry is that SMIC's advanced process technology is also constantly making major technological breakthroughs. Self-developed N plus 1, N plus 2 and other processes can completely bypass use EUV lithography machines to create high-end chips comparable to 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers. Foreign media have speculated that Huawei's Kirin 9000S and Kirin 9010 chips are likely to be manufactured by SMIC. It can be seen that the development of SMIC's advanced technology has reached world-class levels. Of course, it is undeniable that if SMIC wants to replace TSMC, it still has a long way to go. After all, the manufacturing of high-end chips will become more complex and require more investment as time goes by. Big. But as long as SMIC remains true to its original aspirations and domestic companies cooperate sincerely, Chinese chip will surely rise completely break the blockade of U.S. chip, let Chinese companies no longer have worries, and promote the development of human technological civilization. If you agree, please like it. It's time for China to give up all illusions about TSMC. It will be difficult to return to the mainland market after building a factory in the United States. What do you think of this?